After I heard about the big adjustment Roger was getting, I decided it's about time to finally play him again. And it's definitely not because somebody in the comment section has been asking me for 100 days or so to pick him. Anyway, I think it's been a couple years since the last time I played him, and this is really gonna be the very first time I'll play him since then. Not gonna lie, I kind of forgot a little bit about some of his skills, and I made the mistake of not rereading his skills before jumping into this very first match. But before we continue, quick shout out to the amazing sponsor of this video. Omni Heroes is a casual strategy fantasy RPG and has received recommendations from both Google Play and App Store. As Omni Guardians, your mission is to rescue the captive Valkyries from demons who are threatening the world. And to aid you with this journey, there will be over a hundred heroes that you can summon. But more importantly, you will need to find the right team synergies and composition if you want to get very far. Omni Heroes offer a casual and relaxed gameplay for those who just want to unwind, while also offering enough depth and exploration for players to enjoy strategic challenges. And if you are tired and in a bit of a hurry, you can let the automated mechanics take over. Drop in whenever you want to claim the rewards you have earned. With the nifty quick battle mode, you can even skip battles effortlessly. Right now Omni Hero is gearing up for an exciting new season on November 17th. Get ready for an electrifying experience with a captivating new storyline and roguelike deck builder new gameplay. If you like what you saw, feel free to download the game. Now is the perfect time to do so because now you can claim 777 free summons and 5 legendary heroes within the first week. It's always nice to see Romer helping with the buff. Or that's what I used to think. This was my very first match of the day, so I was mentally prepared for such an amazing start, and the truth is, I did get a bit tilted here. But it is what it is, I had to quickly regain composure and not try to have a loss as a debut after such a long time of not playing him. Oof, he was about to last hit it again. I'll be honest, I was ready to just put down the tablet and just go work out. I was already scarred, I just wanted him to go away. Please. A much needed triple kill after such a shaky start. I mean, if the opponent steal your buff at the start, that means they just outplay you, and that's that. But when it comes from your own side, that's when it might F you the most. Angel is still such a menace even after you nerf. At this point, 
things started to look like we are indeed gonna have an L as the first match. I saw Eudora right behind me, so I had to get this kill quickly and then get out of her range. If Sylvana can buy us some time, we might be able to make it in time. Layla hurts so much in the late game, and it's not the easiest task to go for her because Belleric and Eudora can protect her pretty well. Her mage is still alive and I have no HP at all. I need to see if I can recover some HP with the minion wave first and then go to the Lord. This bad, one down already. Even with the ult, Yudera could still kill me with just her two skills, thing has so little HP. But whatever, let's try it. Oof. And Abby didn't use her shield to become immune to CC. Shit, I missed. It's blaming time. Angela started to talk smack as well.
When I have 97% of the team kill participation with a hero that I haven't played for years, you already know that this will be a very interesting game. They were so focused on chasing me that they forgot about the rest of their team. We got two of them because of it. Just retreat, please. Dodi was definitely a very intriguing match with all the unexpected things that happened, especially in the early game, I still felt like something was lacking. And since I was warm up to Roger a little bit after this match, I decided to go for one more game and see if I can get a juicier gameplay. I was getting a bit nervous when I saw a roamer approaching, that's how traumatized I was from the previous game. I was absolutely relieved when I saw him turning around. I actually misclicked here, I was just going to dash back. I like the new adjustment on Roger's passive. So basically, you want to be in human form first when the opponents are at full HP, and when they're at low HP, you use the wolf form.
Not too bad of a start. I was already having a really good feeling about this match. And this roamer is not doing anything sus. On the contrary, he's being pretty proactive. When you feel like the opponents are not gonna contest the neutral objective at all, you can just save the retribution, especially if you are planning to invade the enemy's buff next. I'm glad I decided to go for one more game, and I gotta admit, after this, I might actually start playing him more often. He's actually pretty fun to play. Now I see why this guy kept asking me to play Roger. I'm being converted right now. I actually forgot about the new Moskov old, so for a moment I thought this Moskov was actually an ally. XT. Despite having the marksman tag, Roger's pretty damn sturdy. I definitely could have gone for that kill, but I was such a puss. Anyway, like I was saying, I definitely could have gone for that kill, but I was too much of a coward. So I just decided to recall instead. Kill. 
If I remember correctly, I think the main reason why I really picked Roger is because the first couple of matches with him, I had such a rough time that he left a bad taste in my mouth. And just like all traumas, you just want to forget about it and pretend it never existed. And that's most of the cases for some of the other heroes I don't use that often. But definitely after these two matches, I will start playing Roger a lot more. Anyway, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya.